hello welcome back to this channel gain java knowledge and today in this video we are going to learn how to write j unit test cases with moketo and in this video we will write test cases for our controller layer but before writing the test cases first we need to understand why we need test cases we write test cases mainly to check whether the all the functionality is working properly or not so the other developer can easily understand the functionality and what are the main fields and the next thing is what is moketo why we are using moketo moketo is a java based mocking framework that used in conjunction with other testing framework such as junit and with testng and it internally uses java reflection api and allows to create objects of a service and a mock object returns a dummy data and avoids external dependency and it simplifies the development of test by mocking external dependency and apply the mocks into the code under test so okay let's start in the code how to write test cases for controller in spring boot application first i will go to my browser here i will type start.spring.io first i will create one spring boot project here i will write j unit with moketo and now i will add the dependencies here i will add just basic dependency web and another is lombok and no other dependency spring boot test dependency will be by default now i will go to chip i have extracted here now i will go to eclipse and here i will import and finish it it's taking time to import not done now i will go to my pom.xml here you can see the dependency that is spring boot starter web lombok and spring boot starter test by default added by spring boot and now i will add one more dependency that is for j unit that is the dependency that i have added now i will save it now i will go to my source and here i will create one controller layer here i have created few rest endpoints that is rest controller and inside my employee controller i have created four rest endpoint one is for to save the employee and second is for to get employees and third is to delete the employee and update employee i have created four rest endpoints now i will write the test cases for these rest endpoints okay first i will go to my source test java package and here i will create one package mokito dot controller finish and here i will create one class employee controller test and at class level i will use annotation at the rate spring boot test spring boot test and i will use one more annotation at the rate run with here i will use spring j unit for class runner dot class now i will write the test cases 
for my controller so first i will write the test case for to save the user public and its return type will be void save employee and for here i will use j unit annotation that is at the rate test from org dot j unit package so first i need to create first mock mvc object and i need to initialize this mock mvc so here i will use one annotation that is at the rate before and here i will use mock mvc builder mock mvc builder dot here i will call function web context setup and after that i will build and here i need to pass a parameter so here i will create private web application context wc and here i will pass this parameter here web application context now i will write my first test case to save the employee so first here i need to create one dummy object for my employee model so i have created one object for my employee model the employee model you can see here that is id name and message three properties in my model class so i have created one object and now i will write my test case here i will use mvc result mvc result and result is equal to here i will use my mock mvc and i will call perform and here in perform which action i want to perform so first i want to call put api and i have created put mapping here i will pass my api url that is api employee and now i will pass the content type now here i will pass the content type first i need to think to check it here put so it's not importing so here first i will import this static package here that is for get delete put and update so now here i will use enter my url now it's showing content type in content type i will pass application application dot json dot value and here i will type content that is my mapper here i need to use my object mapper that will convert string into my object model object mapper 
मैपर इज इक्वल टू न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट मैपर नाउ आई विल कॉल हियर फंक्शन मैपर डॉट आई विल कन्वर्ट माय मॉडल इनटू स्ट्रिंग फॉर्मेट राइट वैल्यू एस स्ट्रिंग एंड हियर आई विल पास द मॉडल ऑब्जेक्ट दैट आई हैव क्रिएटेड and here i will expect status is okay then my test case will pass and here i will return the response here we need to handle the exception air throws declaration and now i will get the response and i will convert my string value into my model class mapper dot read value and here i will pass result dot get response and get content as string and here i will pass my model that is employee dot class and save it now i will check assert equal function i will use here and here i will pass my expected value that i am expecting and here i will use my actual response now i will run this application i have created my first test case to save the employee run as j unit test so first i will build my application here my test case is failed and java dot lang illegal argument exception web application context is required so here we need to use at the rate auto void annotation and now i will run this test again run as j unit test now here you will see test case is passed that is for to save employee like this we can write test case for to delete employee get employee and update the employees now i will write one more test case for to get the employees so here i will copy it and paste here and change the name of function get employees and here i will call in the get api to get the employee and here no need to use write value as string and expecting here i am status okay and here i will get result dot get so here i will convert the result into my list and here i need to create the list of employees because get employees method return type is list of employee so here i will create one empty list of employee now 
now here i will use the attribute name the result and here i am getting response and converting this response into list of employees and now i will run this application run as j unit test case now here you can see the response both test cases run successfully get employee save employee like this we can write more test cases for update employee and delete employee now i will write that one more test case for update the employee in update employee everything will be same like save employee but just here we need to change its url here i have pasted save employee now i will use here update employee and here i need to change the url here i will pass one path variable that is employee id and here i will pass id as integer separated by comma and now i will run this application and here you can see the output everything is working fine now i will write one more test case for to delete the employee and here i will just check the status that is no content then it is working fine because at controller level i have defined http status is no content now i will run this application and here you can see j unit test cases everything is working fine and we have done test cases with curd at controller level okay thanks for watching this video